Hello, so today I'm going to be doing a Procreate tutorial, how to draw like a realistic 3D bubble. So first things first, you want to get a new layer, and then you want to select, uh, it doesn't matter what colour you choose, but you want to make a circle. Um, I said a circle. <laughs> you want to fill it in with um, the same colour. And then you want to go and select that layer, you want to click on Alpha Lock. So what that does is basically means you can only colour inside the circle. Now you want to select a colour that's quite close to white, but still obviously grey. Maybe a bit lighter. Yep, there we go. Then you want to make sure the entire thing is that colour, and select a slightly darker colour and just around the edges do that little thing like that then grab a darker colour again and just around the very edge just do that then grab a lighter colour, slightly lighter than your original colour not too light but just like that if you want to click on the wand click Gaussian Blur then slide it across until you feel like it looks like a, like a nice sphere you want to, this is the weird part, you want to grab some, you want to grab a really vibrant colour and just draw little bits like this. Just like that. This time actually I think I'm not too happy with the result. So I quickly redo that. There we go. So you're, it's important that you don't make too many different like lines. And these lines will look weird right up until the very end. But once it reaches the end, it'll probably look fine. Actually, maybe one more orange line. There we go. So now I want to go into Gaussian Blur again, blur it just about that much there. Then you want to grab a completely white colour, the lightest it'll go. Then you want to go into that corner there and draw a little line with a dot at the end. Then change your brush size up maybe to about, what, maybe, nope that's too big, maybe 19? Yep, that's good. You want to draw that line thing again with the dot. You want to go Gaussian Blur, blend it in, then with that bigger one on the lighter area, you want to do that one again, only that one, not the other one. And then once you've made that a second time, you want to go into Gaussian Blur again, blur it up, not too much, and then you have your bubble. And yeah, hope you like it. See you next time.